Hello world, Alexander Buckley here and let's talk games. I have no idea why, but whenever I try and find anything at all about the Nintendo 64 online, I just see an endless stream of videos and websites showing off some of the most amazing, incredible fan creations of classic N64 games. People that are way smarter and way more talented than me have spent hours, days, weeks, months and even years to recreate some of the best N64 games or even just polish them up just so they can experience them in a new way. The N64 is an awesome console and easily one of the best of all time. Nothing would make me happier personally than seeing some of the best games on this console being remade from the ground up and then just getting a re-release on modern day hardware. So. With that in mind, here's five games that I would like to see remastered on the Nintendo 64. Number five, Mario 64. Now this is probably the most predictable game that's going to be on this list. YouTube alone is just cluttered with speedruns and fan-made recreations and emulation ports of this game. And I think it's just time that Nintendo just pulls the trigger on this one, just remasters this and just brings it out on the Switch. Because, you know, less is more here. No one really wants the game completely redone. The key thing is just clean it up. So just get some new visuals, some textures, maybe just maybe tweak the controls ever so slightly just to bring them in line with the modern standards. I mean, this is just one of the best games ever made and it just needs a little bit of TLC and it would be perfect and introduced to a brand new generation of people. Number four, Mario Kart 64. Now I just figured let's just get all the Mario stuff right out there at the front and get it out of the way. So you can make the argument, and this is the argument that has been popped up over the years that this game has not aged well at all. The controls are a little bit rough, and of course the graphics and textures are rough, but you know what? Every game on the N64 looks a little bit rough. Time has not been kind to many N64 games. Don't forget this is an old console, so they will look a bit rough around the edges. So, you know, it would be nice to get it remastered for that aspect of that. But you know what, you could also argue that most of the Mario Karts have had some form of a retro track or two being remastered anyway. So some of the levels in Mario Kart 64 have already been remastered in some of the newer versions. That's fine, you can make all those arguments as well, but I want a proper remaster of this game on every track, every character model, everything about this game remade from the ground up, just because it's it's one of the first experiences many people had with Mario Kart, and it'd be just great for a new generation to see one of the best kart games ever made, just remastered and brought up to this sort of modern day standard. Now, if they don't want to do that, as I understand some people go, well, you know, parts of this have been remade anyway, then why not just make a Mario Kart Legacy Edition where they just pull all the games in their original form into one nicely easy package so everyone can go through any generation of Mario Kart and just play some of the older titles. Either way, something that should be remastered, Mario Kart 64, that'd get my vote. Number three, Goldeneye. Now I love a list with a little bit of controversy in it and this one I, I imagine is going to be the one that most people complain about because you know what, you can argue that this game has already been remastered if you look at the PS3 game GoldenEye 007. However, that PS3 version, whilst being a great game, it just kind of was missing the charm of the original N64 original game. And I mean, shooting games have moved on so much in just the last few years alone, let ago when that game was made as a remaster. So it's time that we just get some of the modern mechanics in there to make one of the best shooters of all time, one of the most influential shooters of all time, and just bring it up in line with modern day standards. And you know what? One of the main things they could do is improve the enemy's AI just to make the game a little bit more challenging. That's it. And you know what? There is a huge demand for this game. Again, this is another one. If you go into YouTube or you go into Google, it's flooded with remakes and remasters and fan creations. So to me, it's a no-brainer. GoldenEye needs a good remaster. Needs a modern hardware. Easy. Number two, Conker's Bad Fur Day. Let's just get it out of the way right now. If they were going to remaster anything on this list at all, if they were going to do any of them, the least likely one to happen would be this game because it's a rare game and it's kind of property of Microsoft. And also they've already done a remaster on the Xbox before, which was Conker's Live and Reloaded. But that remaster didn't quite live up to the original. This is a title that just needs a little bit more care. Clean up all the animations, maybe add some decent, like... The, the, the tricks and tips and modern animations that will just fix this whole thing up and make it feel a bit more polished and that camera that was always a little bit tricky for Nicoly, let's just polish that up as well 
and bring Conker back in all of his uncensored glory. That's the main thing about this. You don't need to change a lot in these games, just bring it to a modern day standard. And number one, WWF No Mercy. Now I know if you're not a wrestling fan, you're gonna 100% disagree with me at putting this at number one because you're not a wrestling fan, so why would you want a wrestling game? And for those people I say, then why not just do Perfect Dark, because that was my second choice for number one. But the reason I went with No Mercy is because there's a pretty good remaster on Xbox already, which you can play. So, you know, I have less issues with that one than the Conquer remastering they did, because I felt like the Perfect Dark remaster was pretty good. But anyway, for that reason alone, I went to No Mercy. So No Mercy is, if you don't know already, you probably do, it's one of the best, probably the best wrestling game ever made. It was an absolute blast. It's one of the best multiplayer games. It probably is one of the best multiplayer games ever made as well. And it's got one of the best story modes in a wrestling game. And it features just this fantastic like fighting mechanic and grappling system that was just really rewarding and really innovative at the time. So it just needs to be polished to make this less blocky. <laughs> That's the one thing you look when you see this game again now you go, it's very blocky add some facial animations and overall just clean up the whole presentation with the sound and everything else and this would be just an incredible remake. Now the thing I can't work out is if you touch the controls or not because if you plug in N64 today and play this game it's fantastic. That's why it's an instant classic, it's a pick up and play title so maybe leave the controls as they are, I don't know, let me know what you think. But guys that's going to do it for this one, that is my list, it's a very tough one to do because there's so many good titles on the N64 but for my money and in my opinion these are the five I would choose. What do you guys think? What games would you choose? Just let me know in the comments. Give me a comment. If you've got any feedback as well, I'd love some feedback, so let me know in the comments as well. If you like my videos, then please hit that big old like button. I really appreciate it. And also, if you could subscribe as well, that would really help me out and help me reach some new people and just help grow the channel, and I'd really appreciate it. But that is going to do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you later, so have a good week. Bye.